All right, another thing I was going to show y'all about are baby chicks. So I have 12 baby chicks, and now they are three weeks old. And they're getting a little bit of feathers on them. There's um, three different breeds that I got. And here's their chicken tractor. Let me just show you that. Um, it's very protective from any predators, like the dogs, um, owls, any kind of little animals, cats that come around. So they're locked up really well, and they still can't control their temperature. So they have to have a red light in the back. See, if they're getting bigger now. They were just tiny. And so the red light is um, keeps it over 100 degrees back there if they get cold. And then they have these little racks that they can already get up on if they want to. And some of them um, already roost up there at night. And I was going to show you um, about their feed. And see, their feed is really, really small little crumbles. And it comes in a bag like this. And it's called um, Start and Grow. And I'll give that to them for probably a couple months at least. They won't lay eggs until they're four months, five, six months old probably. But we um, fill that up and then we have to give them water. They have to have really, really clean water. So here's their water. We put that in there and um, they drink all day long and you have to change that water probably twice a day. Now they can't regulate their body heat because they're so little and they don't have uh, feathers yet. Their mom would typically do that, but they don't have a mom. So they have me, and that's why I give them the red light. So let me show you. Oops, sorry. Trying to get used to doing this. But what I do is I'll take some of this feed, like so, and then we put it in, in there a couple times a day, and then they can stick their little heads through without making a huge mess. Let's see? And they're getting a little bit more used to me. They used to just fly to the other end. But they'll all have names and they'll all lay eggs. They're all good egg laying breeds. And, um, they're, but they make a real mess. And I have to clean these shavings out. Uh, see the shavings here. I have to clean that out every like three days and put new ones in there. And they have to have this because if they have a slippery surface like what's under here, they'll get what's called prattle leg where they can't stand up straight and their legs will um, go out from underneath them all the time. All right, so by the time you see them, they should be big enough to lay eggs uh, when you visit and I'll introduce you to them then. So we'll shut the door and we'll let them go ahead and eat and we'll make sure it's shut really good with a really really good um, closure so no raccoons and things like that get in there and then when used to I used to keep them in here and this is where I would gather the eggs from was this side and then I'd look I had a little nest right down there and in fact you can see them right there I think well maybe they're hiding no they're over there all right well okay hope you enjoyed that love y'all enjoy your day bye bye and speaking of eggs I'm just now putting up my Easter Easter eggs but um, one thing about chickens is people might think that they can just lay eggs forever and ever but they only lay eggs for about two and a half years and they have a specific number of eggs that they'll lay and that might be between 200 and 400 eggs but it's not like they're gonna lay thousands and they can only lay one egg per 24 hours so um, I thought you might find that a little bit interesting and and I'm upside down, but that's okay. All right, and uh, I guess I'll let you go. There's Jody. Hey, Jody, say hi. He's coming over. All right, I hope y'all enjoy these, and I'll get on with some American history later, but I just wanted to show you about the chickens. All right, take care. Bye.